Hello all, welcome to part 71 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use iter function in Python with the different collection data types that is list double set and dictionary. So let's get started. I'll first open this PyCharm ID where we have the sample Python file and I'll create a list, a sample list having some random values. Say 9 comma 1 comma 5 comma 7 some random values this list I'll store into a variable now I'll pass this list okay I will pass this list variable into a function known as iter function like this okay iter of a iter function into the iter function I'm passing the list now this iter function will return iterator okay so I'll just give some variable name for the iterator itr now if I have to iterate through this particular list using this iterator okay if i have to iterate through all these values of the list each and every element of the list using the iterator so i have to use another function known as next function i'll show you print of next of i have to pass this itr okay iterator so the first value 9 will be printed in the output after that i have to again say itr okay next of itr what is the next one one will be printed then I have to say next of ITR 5 will be printed again. I have to say print of next of ITR 7 will be printed. Okay, so 9157 will be printed in the output. You see guys if I have to visually represent what happened here. So I'll let me diagrammatically explain guys. So here we have four values in the list right 9 1 5 and 7 originally the pointer is there here okay let's assume that the pointer is there here now the moment i created this iterator okay the moment i this iter function has uh, taken this list and converted that into iterator right then i can use this next function of the iterator okay the moment i say next originally the pointer is there here the elements are there here the moment i say next here this pointer okay this pointer will point to the first element okay while next of it here when you say this pointer has located the first element and here you are printing that so 9 will be printed in the output after that again next of itr so this pointer will now move to the next element of the list so one will be printed here again third print statement also next of itr 5 will be printed again fourth statement next of itr 7 will be printed so that's the reason 9157 got printed if i use another print of next of itr is it possible guys no right there are only four values fifth value is not there so if the pointer is pointed to another element element is not there right so you'll get error in the output you'll get some error you see some kind of error you are getting in the output next it uh, iterator stop iteration it is saying okay it's not possible only four times you can iterate using this next function of the iterator but in order to get this iterator we have to use the iter function so similarly guys instead of the list you can also use tuple here so i'll change the square brackets to circular brackets this becomes a tuple and the, now the tuple is stored into this uh, variable a again you are converting the tuple into the iterator using the iter function and the same thing applies here guys same output you will get similarly you can convert this Double to set okay by providing the curly braces now again the same thing you are converting the set into an iterator here and using the next function of the iterator you are iterating through all the elements run this code you see you'll get 9517 because in the set the values are randomly stored in the memory so the way in which they got stored in the memory the same order in which you'll get the values okay fine next dictionary guys in case of dictionary what will happen let me show you here I'll say name colon. I'll give my name Arun. I'll give the next one experience. Okay, experience colon. I'll give 12. Then location. Location colon. Okay. Uh, Hyderabad 
then occupation i'll say trainer okay trainer like this four key value pairs i created and this is a dictionary right this is a dictionary now i can convert the dictionary also into an iterator using this iter function itself by passing the dictionary to the iter function you'll get the iterator again the same thing next you have to use and run this guys you will get all the keys by default you are getting what guys you are getting the keys guys okay name experience location and occupation you are getting so guys uh, this is how we can use the iter function in python with the different collection data types that is list tuple set and dictionary to iterate through all the elements of this collection data types so that's it guys thank you bye